Welcome back. I just tried out a bunch of clothes from Tracksmith, which is a running fitness brand based out of Boston. And I have to say, I loved these running clothes. They are probably some of my favorite that I've ever tried on, ever worn before, but it is absolutely a more expensive brand. So I just wanted to say that up front. I think that the quality of these clothes are great, but quite expensive. So let's jump right into some of the clothes. Right off the bat, we've got this Harrier long sleeve, and I think that this is a phenomenal running long sleeve. You'll notice that it is this merino blend. It's 89% merino wool, 11% nylon, and I think this is a really great breakdown because it's a lightweight long sleeve t-shirt, but it is going to still be warm. I noticed this as kind of a common denominator across that Tracksmith does a really good job of making clothes that are going to be able to be used throughout all the seasons, but they're especially good at clothes that you're going to be using during those colder runs. And this Harrier long sleeve is absolutely one of those pieces from the order that I was like, yes, I would like to wear this on every single one of my runs because it's lightweight enough, but it would still keep you warm during those winter months. $84, it's a little bit high on that price point, but you can tell that the quality is really there, especially with the materials that they use to create this. Last thing that I'll say is, you know, we're gonna see this a lot. They've got this bunny rabbit for a mascot, and I wish that they would just like calm down about it. I think it's like fine, you know, brand recognition is a good thing and like whatever, but I do feel like they use it all the time. And they also have this big tracksmith thing that they're using a lot of branding on their clothes that I'm not always the biggest fan of. So this was fine on this long sleeve. I don't think it's super obtrusive, but you'll see coming up that it gets a little bit worse as we go on. The Brighton base layer in navy. I thought that this was a really good running shirt. I got it in small and I would say that I needed to go up where that long sleeve that we were just looking at, I got a small and it felt like the right size. This base layer felt like it was a little too snug around my body. Overall, I think that the Tracksmith clothes are pretty slim fitting. So I would say that if you have less of a runner's build and more of like an athletic build or more of a strength build, you definitely are going to have to go up in your sizes. This one was a little bit more standard material that you would see as a base layer. Uh, it's more of that like spandex feel, so I liked that, but there wasn't anything super great about it. This kind of base layer really should be around the 50 buck range, so it's not one that I'm going to be keeping for myself, but it wasn't poorly made by any means. I've just had base layers that are better from other brands. The Down Easter was interesting because once again, we've got this branding there. You know, I think it's fine. I wish it wasn't there. Branding here but I didn't think that the material that they used for this, again, it's this merino mid-layer, and for this piece of clothing, I actually thought that it was a little too heavy to have as something that you were wearing on a run over another t-shirt. It wasn't a super, what I would call, athletic material. And so I thought that this was a fine quarter zip, but I wouldn't really think of it as like, this is the quarter zip that I'm gonna use on my run. So at $148 for a quarter zip, it kind of needs to be perfect. And while it was a good quarter zip, it didn't feel like it kind of checked all the boxes for me. So this is not one of the pieces of the order that I would say is a must have. Okay, the Bizlet pants, if that's how you're supposed to say that, were really fun. I liked them a lot. I think having those little foot straps underneath is kind of like a game changer when we're talking about cold weather running. This way you don't have to have like super, super thick socks, right? You know that your pants are going to go all the way down to your shoes and you're gonna be able to retain a lot of heat that way. I think it's a really, really smart design and the joggers themselves are really nice as well. Again, they have this branding on here that is, I actually, oops, a little coffee break for the ambulance. So I think the branding on these is actually I like it. I like this Tracksmith branding uh, comparatively to how it was on the t-shirts. But once again, it is still there and I would prefer it to not be, right? And then the last thing that I really have to bring up about this, I really do love these joggers, but the $198 price point, very much what I was saying at the beginning of this video. Everything is quality. I don't think that they're like completely overshooting how much their clothes are worth, but they're in a price point that I don't shop for fitness clothes in. You know, especially because I know that fitness clothes have a lifespan and that, you know, they're going to wear out at some point. I 
don't spend more than $100 on a pair of joggers. So the idea of spending $198 on a pair of joggers that I know is going to eventually wear out, it's not for me. I really liked them, but I think I have to pass on these. Surprisingly, I absolutely loved this Varsity Runners cap. You know, sometimes hats just don't really fit my head. Sometimes I just think that, you know, I don't really want to spend money on a hat, right? But I tried this on and I was like, oh, it's so soft. You can tell that the knit of it is just really high quality and I think it looks really nice. I'm definitely going to be keeping this cap. I mean, granted, $38 for a cap does seem exorbitant, but I really, really liked it. So take that with a little grain of salt as well. Something's happening. I'm getting a lot, a lot, a lot of light here. Oh, oh, I'm melting. Okay, maybe we'll just like shift this over a little bit. The sun is really coming in bright. You can see I've got some a nice postcard from Cafe Luxembourg from the Upper West Side with three ladies. We're having a good time, you know? Okay, anyway, <laughs> going into the Van Cortland singlet. Now, Y'all know I love a tank top, and I think these singlets are really, really cute. They are a little retro. They make me think of what my dad would be wearing at cross country practice in high school. And so I was like, yeah, I have to get one of these. I feel like a broken record, but I really wish that it didn't have the branding on there. I think that it is such a cute singlet and tank top. I just, the bunny doesn't really do it for me. I just. I just don't love it. So that was tough. But also the thing that I thought was a really, really nice touch was that on the branding down here, they don't show it in the picture, but on the actual singlet, they have four gold safety pins. And those safety pins are so that you can tack your number for a race. So if you're running a 5K, you're running a half marathon, a full marathon, you can use those gold pins uh, to tack your bib to your singlet, and I just thought that was like, it's just cool. Like obviously safety pins are nothing, they cost a cent, right? But it was just like a cool like, hey, you're getting this singlet, we want you to actually use it in a race, so here are your safety pins, you know? Now go do the race. I love that just with these safety pins, they're kind of showing you the ethos of the company. I think that is really, really awesome. Oh, and I'd say like, I think that there are a lot of other colors that are super fun for the singlet too, so definitely check those out as well. You know, the Van Cortland Grand Shorts, I didn't love as much. I still think they have that retro feel. They're just not a short that I think is super practical. You know, they are, I hope I can zoom in here. Yeah, so they've got like the porous outside layer here. They're very like, you know, high school gym class from the 60s and 70s, which is cool, but I wasn't really going to wear them. I think they're just fine. I think that where a tank top, it can be a little bit more of a statement with your like fashion choice. Shorts need to be extremely functional to me. If they don't feel like they're going to be comfortable on, you know, mile 10 of a run, I don't care how great they look, I'm not gonna wear them. And this was what I was nervous about with these shorts was that like, I think that they would look really good and they do look pretty good, but they're not really meant for a long run, which seemed like kind of a, a swing and a miss for Tracksmith because they do seem to be very, very uh, on the ball with making clothes that are really great for actual runners. And that brings me to our final piece of the order. And this was the piece that, you know, besides my cap that I'm definitely gonna keep. This one, I decided I needed a pair of leggings like this and I've never had them before. And I'm gonna be keeping these. The turnover tights lined fit unbelievably well. Somehow, maybe it's just that this clothing brand is geared toward my body type, I'm not sure, but I've never had tights that felt like they were hugging in all the right places, but they weren't too tight, they were gonna stay warm. I thought that these tights were phenomenal. Lightweight, but still would keep you warm and just a really, really good pair of tights. $138 for that, that's gonna be a lot but I'm hoping that uh, they're going to stick around for a while and that because I really will only use these tights in the winter, I'll be able to use them, you know, five, 10 years down the line as well. And that is it. Like I said, I absolutely loved my Tracksmith order. I thought that they had so many cool, retro, functional pieces of clothing, especially for runners. The price point is just a little high, so you gotta be really sparing about what pieces you're actually going to order and which pieces you're actually going to keep because if I kept all of them, I would be broke, right? So Tracksmith, I believe, is a great company for those specific pieces, but it's not going to outfit your entire wardrobe. Does that make sense? Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave me a comment below, like it, share it with a friend. Also, if you have any brands that you want me to check out in the future, let me know in the comments. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.